My name is Babak Madavi Damgani. I'm a PhD student here at the Oxford Mann Institute of uh, Quantitative Finance. So in terms of uh, my research, uh, it would be perhaps uh, useful to take a step back and uh, maybe uh, provide a little bit of context. In 2008, we had uh, this big uh, financial crisis. A lot of people were very unhappy. We had this social uproar and uh, this sort of malaise uh, sort of uh, uh, got into the scientific community as well. This uh, pushed some of the uh, I, I would say regulators to review some of their uh, risk systems and uh, try to anticipate what the next financial crisis could be. And um, sort of uh, quite quickly after the crisis, around uh, 2010, uh, the consensus started uh, getting towards electronic trading being uh, that specific area of uh, uh, you know, potential crash. I would illustrate uh, uh, my, um, you know, uh, my thought with perhaps the flash crash of 2010, where the Dow Jones uh, dropped by 10% in a matter of few minutes. Or, uh, you know, the flash crash of 2011, in which uh, we saw the nat gas crash as well. What was uh, peculiar with these crashes was uh, the very bizarre uh, sequence of oscillations that uh, preceded these crashes, which if you work in quantitative finance, you realize very quickly that it's only uh, the interaction of uh, perhaps systematic strategies or robots that could yield uh, such a bizarre se sequence of uh, oscillation. And um, so these kind of uh, events led some of the highest uh, authorities in quantitative finance to call for some sort of uh, modeling revolution. The modeling revolution came from um, uh, going from a top-down approach to a bottom-up approach. So what's a top-down approach? which is currently uh, sort of the status quo in the world of quantitative finance is the following. Imagine you have, uh, you're trying to predict the fluctuation of uh, the S&P 500, you have some data, uh, you have some uh, leading indicators and you try to uh, build functions which predict that uh, these fluctuations. However, uh, this approach assumes uh, uh, all sorts of things, for example, that the ecosystem of strategies is consistent through time and that uh, past data is a reliable source for uh, predicting the future. What is the bottom-up approach, which is uh, my area of expertise, or at least the area in which I'm doing my research at the moment, is to instead take a look at uh, the strategy level. So try to see how the interaction of two different strategies would yield fluctuations instead of going from the top down, go from the bottom up. If you uh, to try to take a look at uh, some of the revolutions in the past in the world of quantitative finance, they always came from uh, you know, closely related fields. So if you take a look at uh, Bachelier, for example, or if you take a look at the Black-Scholes models, uh, some of these models were taken from uh, other fields like uh, uh, probability theory, uh, you know, Brown in motion, or from physics, the heat equation, and stuff like that. And what I'm trying to currently uh, do is to try to bring some of the material in mathematical biology and in evolutionary dynamics. So in order to uh, perhaps uh, keep you, uh, you know, interested and maybe uh, keep this a little bit intuitive, in uh, mathematical biology you have this branch uh, in which you try to model uh, predator prey. So for example, let's say uh, you try to uh, model the frequency of gazelles and uh, cheetahs through time, then uh, you have some equations uh, that try to model the fluctuations or the frequency of these two uh, species through time. So, uh, you know, with the same idea, I'm trying to see whether similarly in the financial system, uh, you could have predator uh, sort of strategies and prey strategies and depending on the ecosystem you could have some strategies that could do really well uh, but that uh, you know that uh, requires the presence of other kinds of strategies and and this is also where evolutionary dynamics come into play again trying to understand uh, bring the the concept of um, uh, mathematical invasion or strategy invasion is uh, my cur currently the area in which I am uh, trying to, to find uh, interesting uh, information.